decompose the three vector u equal to 2, 2, 1 as a sum of vectors parallel and perpendicular to the vector v equals 1, 1, 1. First, the picture. Here, we have u, we have v. I'm not too worried about getting a precise picture, we just want to see how the geometry comes in. I want to write u as a sum of two vectors so that one vector is in the same direction as v, that's u parallel. The other vector is at a right angle to v, that's u perp. If I add u parallel, u perp, do heel toe addition, I get u back. Now, what's going to drive our solution? The dot product. First, the geometric interpretation. So if I take the dot product of u and v, we're going to have the length of u, the length of v, multiplied by the cosine of the angle between u and v. So you'll note if your dot product is a positive number, the cosine is going to be positive, and your angle is between 0 and 90 degrees. If you get a negative dot product, that means you're between 90 and 180 degrees. So you have an obtuse angle. We also have a numerical definition of dot product by two vectors. Okay, we multiply coordinate wise and then sum. So in this case, if I take the dot of u and v, okay, it's going to be 2 times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus 1 times 1. That gives me a 5. So that means cosine is positive. So we've drawn the picture correctly. That is, I've drawn it with an angle that's acute. So we're less than 90 degrees. If I had a negative sign, I'd have to erase this and then put the angle like this. Now, we'll also need the length of u and v, so let's get those while we're here. The length of u, so I'm going to take the squares and sum them. So we get 4 plus 4 plus 1 gives me a 9. Square root gives our length 3. For v, we have 1 squared, 1 squared, 1 squared gives me a 3. So that'll be square root of 3. To get our parallel vector, think of u parallel as a scalar multiple of v. If that scalar multiple is positive, then we have an acute angle between u and v. u parallel and v point in the same direction, but they may have different lengths. If the scalar multiple is negative, then okay, we're going to have an obtuse angle between u and v. The parallel and v are going to point in opposite directions. They may have different lengths, but they will live on the same line. We want to take this idea and marry it to the polar decomposition of a vector. So what that says, we can take any vector, non-zero, we can write it as a scalar times a unit vector. So you can think of that as just a length, which it will be the length, times a direction. So our scalar is the length, our unit vector is going to be, just take your vector, divide by its length. So if you take the length of v over length of v, that thing has length 1, so it's a unit vector. Let's apply that to u parallel. So u parallel is going to be equal to the length of u parallel times v over the length of v. Okay, so that's going to be the unit vector in the same direction as v. Now, if I had an obtuse angle, I can't use that formula. I'd have to modify it by putting in a minus sign because if I'm using the scalar length of u parallel, that's going to give a positive number. If I have an obtuse angle, I have to have a negative number in there. To find the length of u parallel, we go to the right triangle. So what do we have here? I have my theta. u is going to be the hypotenuse. u parallel is going to be the adjacent leg. So the length of u parallel is the length of u times cosine of theta. Here's where the dot product comes in. We also have u dot v equals length of u, length of v, cosine theta. So cosine theta is u dot v over length u, length v. So we could sub out cosine theta. So here's what we just did. I have the length of u parallel, so length of u times cosine theta, but cosine theta is u dot v over length u, length v. Now the length u's go away, so I'm left with the length of u parallel, so u dot v divided by the length of v. I'm going to take this, put it up here, okay? I can collect the length of v's, so I'll have a length of v squared, u dot v on top, and then v out on the right. Okay, we calculated this term already, 
Okay, u dot v is five, and length of v squared is three. So we have five thirds, five thirds, five thirds for u parallel. Now, to find u perp, we just take u, subtract off u parallel. So that gives me two, two, one, five thirds, five thirds, five thirds, take the difference, one third, one third, minus two thirds. All right, so we have both our vectors. We can check our work. We have three things to check. Okay, for the u perp, that has to be perpendicular to v. So we're gonna take the dot product. The dot product is zero, they're perpendicular, and vice versa. So we do the dot, what do I get? One third plus one third minus two thirds gives me a zero, so perpendicular. Next thing I need, we could check that u parallel is a scalar multiple of v. Well, that's how we found it, so we know it. But just to observe, this is just gonna be 5 thirds times v, so that checks also. Then finally, u perp plus u parallel has to be equal to u. So if I add coordinate wise, we'll get two, two, and one. So that checks also.